this well yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to open it from Matt's mum's best friend. Birthday card from Matt. It's so cute. And he also do well because he also got me a bunch of sweet treats and savoury stuff, and I'm just so excited because they're literally all my favourite things. I'll go through what I got for my birthday in this vlog as well. But yeah, let me open this. <laughs> I think it's a personalised sweet treat, but the, obviously the little note from the Amazon thing that was in here was really, really sweet. Look. <clears throat> and it says it on the tag too, like I'll cover the, but yeah. <laughs> I think it's like a personalised 21 sweet. Can you help me open it? I think I got it really wrong. I think I read, I read the um, delivery thing wrong, to be honest with you. Are you alright? <sighs> Your dog is broken. I love the little bag. Oh, that's really nice. Hang on. Oh, sick. Oh, I've messed that up. So, now? Sort of. I got myself, we do have carbonara in there, but Matt's having that, so I just got this for dinner. We're supposed to have fajitas, but he's gonna be back a bit late, so I got them. And then I got these. Some chocolate mousses to take with me to work and also just to have here for pudding. I got two hummuses, of course. Here's the second one, love it. Um, I've got some jelly beans because they're one of my favorite sweets. Some peppers. And also, call me weird, but I love red pepper hummus on crackers, so got some of them. And then these were on offer once again for when I start back at work next week, just so I've got some bits and pieces. So, yeah, I've got this in the fridge. I'm gonna do my dinner in a minute. Um, but yeah, so this is the current look, straight in my hair today. Um, is it bad to put you in the fridge? We're going to put you in the fridge. Anywho. Um, so yeah, just put these in. But yeah, so I just did like a little top, like the thing that the boys want, everything that the boys want that are in here already, but it's just like a little top up for me, I suppose. That's some apple juice because it's so blooming hot in this house. But yeah, honestly, I had the best birthday. I'm going to go through stuff that I got um, and show you bits and the bits that my mum picked up for me. When we went into town after we went for some lunch, which can I just tell you was amazing. You know what? I'm going to have one of these tonight with my dinner. I stocked up thinking I was going to drink them um, on my birthday, but that didn't quite happen. So love a good chef's pie. So that's everything from in there. But yeah, I'm going to go. Oh, I don't know if that was a good idea, putting my camera in the fridge, but never mind. Um, home i've done my part of the fajita preparation Come on you now baby Woo oh look at that first why would you not stir it go into the cupboard we go because there's me matt and his brother today having him so Hey, compliments to the chef. You shit. So yeah, I'm gonna open this and we've got extra wraps. I'm gonna take some wraps tomorrow. So I actually look like a member of the world. It is a Friday. Um I am busy later, but this morning I am on my way home because Matt's got work. And I'm gonna take loads of stuff home. Here he is. Um, just so the process of taking some stuff home that I don't need a mat because his parents are due back tomorrow and I don't want them to see my stuff. Have you given her the dog food? Huh? Have you given her the dog food? Yeah. Ah. Um, say hello. Hello. Ah. We're in a bit of a rush this morning, aren't we? A bit. So I'm home. I'm gonna have some breakfast. Oh, yum, yum. <laughs> it's now Saturday actually because I fell asleep when I got home from match yesterday morning well in the morning of this vlog as you're watching it and I literally woke up just in time for me to go out and do what I need to do so I'm gonna just film the rest of this vlog today and then the rest of my birthday vlog as well today so it's gonna be a bit confusing but you'll watch it and you'll understand um, I'm just exporting my fifth holiday vlog and music and it's going to go up on private cherry's video collaboration is going up today which is very exciting but yeah i'm going to head out into town the weather's quite nice ish it's a bit 
you know. But um, I'm just wearing basic Primark kind of noodle spaghetti top. Hollister, Scort. And I'm going to wear my black Converse style shoes. Or should I wear my lemons? No, I'll wear my black Converse style shoes. And I'm going to go to Primark. Um, and I may also pop into Boots. Because I've got, because it was my birthday, I've got vouchers. I'm at grandma's, I got myself a Tesco's meal deal and I'm going to do a haul for you and show grandma at the same time I think because I got some good bits for my birthday money, there she is! Hello! <laughs> got a drink as well and we're just going to watch some Downton, I surprised her because she wasn't expecting me today but there you go. I'm always the element of surprise aren't I? Absolutely. But yeah I've got a tuna crunch sandwich, Tesco's meal deal section was absolutely like savaged, it was hardly anything left. But yeah so I'll show you guys but I went into Primark I do have a new bags for my birthday because I need to stuff it in. I'm looking at my revolution parcel and I'm so excited. I'm going to unbox that too. But I've got some great stuff and accessories. Accessories? Accessorise. And also got some bits in Kiko because town was absolutely rammed today. It was so busy. Yes, yeah, No, I literally I was stood in the shops and the queues were massive. But I got some really good bits and like <coughs> birthday presents ish because obviously it's birthday money. Sales yeah. Wow. Accessorise has a massive sale on, hence why I got the bits I did. Okay, so haul time with grandma's commentary which those people seem to like <laughs> um so from kiko they had a real and i have not shopped in kiko for ages i used to always get makeup from there but the one thing that wasn't on sale was this because where i've lost my nars duo in is old which was really bloody expensive but i had it for years to be fair it didn't owe me anything um i got this and it is a water eyeshadow in 235 oh is it some i really hope it ain't broken Thank you very much. Nice. So I was really worried it was smashed because it had it on the outside. But look how beautiful their eyeshadows are for a start. And I just needed a really nice bronzy one to put in my outer corner. Um, so yeah, I got that. And that was £8.99, full price. And then this was like £3. And it was absolutely gorgeous. And I just couldn't help myself. It was from the Lost in Amalfi. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Because I'm not going to say it right Ooh, at all. It's all going to focus properly, but there you go. Have a look at that. <laughs> um, and it's a metal... Oh, it's got lost in a Melfi. Um, oh, yeah, if you say so. <laughs> okay, it says here. Yeah, I could never pronounce it, so... What, a Melfi? Yeah. Alright, okay. There you go. My well-cultured grandma. Um, and this is in... Uh, bronze glares, and it's a metal chrome eyeshadow. And we all know I love a bronze look. This is just beautiful it's quite similar i know but matt's gonna be like they're the same color as the pattern. and then shock horror i got a long lasting shadow stick which i never normally get on with but i have tried one once from kiko and they were really really nice and i got mine in the shade 55 which once again shock horror <laughs> is like a bronzy color but i felt the tester and it was so creamy and beautiful is it gonna focus Kind of, but you get the gist. Um, so yeah, and I just think it's going to go really, really nicely. And we're just going to give it a go. Just give it a go. And once again, that was like three pounds, and they had such a variety of colours. No. Um, from Accessorise, which I'm really excited about, because I'm not shopped in here for so long. To go with this, so this is all the birthday money. I got this clutch bag. This retails. Nice. This retails for twenty two pounds, but I got it for fifteen pound forty. Um. And I can't remember what brand it is, but it just reminds me of something else. And then you've obviously got the in. Yeah. Looks like that inside, but it's just such a nice material. And I thought that would go really well yeah. with outfits anyway. It's so suede, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what I got, right, which we'll see in my birthday vlog. I got this. I thought this was really cute. I never normally get things like that. It's really nice. And that was £8 down to 4 so that was half price. Um, and you've got something for your coins or cash or whatever, and then your cards. And I just thought it would go really well with the... I don't want to lose those, that's what I'm I thought it would go quite well with that anyway. So no, I know. And then, the last thing I got is supposed to I think be a purse, but it's really nice. It's got like this material, and the inside has got obviously card sections. I think it could probably fit your phone in here as well, to be fair. 
but yeah so i just thought it was really cute and this was how much was this it was 20 down to 10 so once again half price and i just thought there was a bright pink one but i thought white goes with everything like you know if you don't want to take mm. anything else out with you how cute and this would really go with my outfit right now because i'm wearing all white yeah <laughs> so we got that primark i got these which you can get the stackable ones but since i'm buying more cosmetics at the moment shock these were a tenner and you can get the other ones that you can stack on it shows you on the front how you can stack them yeah but they remind me of um the muji drawers um which i don't even know if that's still a company anymore um but yeah so i picked those up because they're absolutely the drawers are huge so i picked them up i then got some makeup products which to be honest some people may go why have you got that because it looked quite nice and it reminded me of like fenty vibes so the first thing i got which doesn't remind me of fenty vibes but it was really nice and i think if anything's going to get me into blush ah there we go it's going to be this so it reminds me of benefit this is a paradise crush blusher and um, includes blush brush but i will not be using that obviously cruelty free vegan which is amazing and then you get the Well, I'll open it up in a minute, but that's what you get. So it just reminds me of the box blushes from Benefit um, for £4. And it looks like a really neutral one on the outside. So, And I love the pack. The packaging is really nice too. Um, hydration set, which has got a nourishing lip gloss balm and a lip gloss with hyaluronic acid spheres. And it's in the shade. I don't think it's got a shade name. But it, this was the only colour that I like the look of because I don't wear lipsticks. They just don't look right on me in my opinion so i just got this because i love a good lip balm and they had like a red color as well if anyone was interested it just reminds me of fenty kind of packaging um i then got a pair of their party lashes um i just thought they would look quite cute maybe for a subtle date night or something we would just give them a go you know one of mine and then i also lost one so i made up for the lost pair which are these and then i also got these which were two pounds i'm addicted to buying sunglasses honestly let me take this off because I know I like them anyway. Okay, well, we'll sort that out in a minute. But yeah. How cute are these? Two pound bargain. So yeah, that's everything I got from Primark. And then I did get, which is wrapped, oh God, which is wrapped up really well. They had some really nice candles on sale. And it, oh, it smells amazing. It's the Fresh Daisy one. And I thought the... It reminds me of Winnie the Pooh. You know this colour? It looks really nice. Smell that. Oh, yeah. Fresh Daisy. So I thought I'm going for more fresher scents at the moment. £5 down to three. Fresh and, Daisy? Yeah. Mm. Like the dog. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, I thought that was really... How do you think... What do you think of my things I bought? Grandma's... Really <laughs> but yeah, and I'm going to show in my birthday vlog the bits that Mum got me from... I'll put them in there. Um, but yeah, so, oh, I'm just a bit sweaty. We're back with my revolution box. I'm going to do a thing that we did last, oh, the box smells quite nice actually, um, with grandma guessing at the end how much oh, it all came to. Oh dear, I was well out last time. Well, it was, to be fair, mum said for the stuff I got, she would have thought we got some Honestly, I think something may have... No, something has a leak, but they are strong. So the first thing we've got, of course, I saw these. More Love Island stuff. <laughs> um, which I have started watching the season really late, but never mind. Um, so yeah, these are just those no-mark hair grip mm -hmm. things. So when I straighten my hair and do my makeup, put these in, and it, does, it leaves your hair still looking nice. Um, I don't know why they've got R on all of them. Revolution, I suppose. And I don't use it. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh no, and if I was um cover it all over YouTube, um, I'd edit that out, but it's just funny, so I'll it's tell fine. You what, if you had half a brain done and you'd be dangerous. Exactly. Repositioned. Um so yeah, I said to grandma, I was like, I don't know why they've got R on. Meg. Meg. Um and I was thinking and grandma was like, probably because they're from Revolution, you know, they've got the oh, so, yeah. <laughs> anyway got those and then i got this which is a power puff girls which i've never really been into um but they're the um water activated eyeliner palette 
So Very it's when nice. I want to do some like brighter summer looks, I can just use an angled brush, dip it in there, spray it, and then hopefully do a really nice... Uh, the packaging is really cute, I have got to be honest. So I've got that. And then this, which can I just say was the biggest bargain in the whole order, is a Revit Illusion Times Friends palette, which I've got to be honest, I love. I love the packaging. And the colours, this was retailing for like £15. In the sale, I got it for like £3.50. Right, so you like the packaging better than the, um, the Yeah, extra. half the time it is the packaging that draws me in. And then I saw the colours and then I was like, Ooh, oh, I might even try it for tonight. So, this is what it looks like. Very nice. And then you open it up. Oh, and it's got like the umbrellas. Oh, that's quite cute. So you've got a big mirror. And then they're the colours that you get, which are very, very me. And I love the... Very bold. Well, some of them are bold. Some of them are quite neutral. So, yeah. yeah. I got that. They can go the recycling. Um, can they be recycled? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Next up, we got some more... Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. <laughs> so, I got the Coma Butcher Skin Shot Peach and something else primer. Because, um, you know, we all know I love a good primer and I love peach, so... That was on sale. I then also got a lip protector SPF 30 because they have a really good SPF range and I always need a good lip balm so that's going to come on, come with me tonight in the little bag. And then I also got the lightweight hydrating gel cream so I'm going to get rid of loads of my other creams that I've kept open and just stick to this one. And it's a hydration boost, lightweight, um, vegan cruelty free, fragrance free and I believe it's got hyaluronic acid in which is what drew me to it because oh you can apply am and pm this is the little got oh, yeah so we'll give that a go i think it's got hyaluronic acid in i think that's what it says mm. or if not it's got some some great stuff in so i picked that up because that was also on sale i believe um next oh yeah here we go this is the main reason why i bought stuff off the website so they do their dupe of olaplex on there and i got a bundle and then i bought two separate products or maybe i bought one separate product so i got the in the bundle i believe you got the bond plex shampoo um number five and the conditioner number four and number five and then you also get the bond restore treatment number three I then got the styling cream number six and then the Bond Restore Prep and Prep, prep and Perfect. Oh my god. Prep and Protect um, product as well because I can't afford Olaplex right now because it's really expensive. Um, so I thought I'd just give the Revolution ones a go because, oh, everyone says it's really good and this is a new one. So we'll test it out for like a month and then we'll give it, see what, see what's what. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to trying it though because I just I need something. I need something to sort my scalp out because it is beyond horrendous. And then this is what I think is making everything smell so nice. Yeah. Whew. Jesus. This is a gift for someone. It's a room spray collection. Oh, it's very bad. Smell the box. Oh, God, I couldn't know. That's getting up my nose. <laughs> don't, don't show Lynn. <laughs> She'll be sneezing. <laughs> um yeah that oh, is very nice <clears throat> thing is i don't think they all smell that salty it's like you get a undress me room spray a call me angel and an under the covers um and that's gonna be a gift for someone but because it was gonna be a gift for you but if you don't like the smell then i won't give it to you well it's not that it's it's overpowering well what i'll do is you know about it now but when you open it up and try them separately because i think it may just be a mix of yeah okay well, but whatever. yeah um but if someone else wants some love they're quite florally. That was not what I was expecting at all. So if you don't like floral scents. Yeah, okay. Oh, sweet you taking that box home with you? No, I'll be putting it in the recycling. Sorting my room out. So it's a Monday. It's 27th of June. I can't believe that my birthday's whizzed by, holiday whizzed by, and now back to the real world. And I have got a busy week this week, very exciting. And then I'm back off on annual leave next week. So we were supposed to go on holiday, but update on that. We're no longer going. However, we're still gonna have a really lovely week and there's still gonna be plenty of vlogs and stuff like that. And yeah, so just in case you were wondering about any more holiday content, there may be some holiday vlogs from a couple of weeks ago, but it won't be 
another set which is sad but it it is what it is financially we're better off anyway for not going so it'll be fine i've also got to trim my nails down because i'm back at um, my care job tomorrow um so yeah yeah i'm really sad about it but never mind um and then i'm going to get them taken off and then redone um on the 27th of july so yeah um but yeah that's the plan so i should have got i could have got them done next week but i'm not actually i could i could see whether she could change my appointment we'll see what laura can do but anyway um this is a plan to sort this room out because let me show you my stuff on here i've got this i need to organize my new drawers from primark um and then all of this all the shopping all the organization that needs to be done because it's just a night floor first um and just put everything on the bed and work from there and put you guys on here and then we're just gonna work it out however i did want to let you guys know these shoes are very grubby granted they're not looking their um their best 78 pound from primark one of the best pairs of shoes i've ever bought so yeah but um that's that and i've got some really nice flat updates for you as well um because mum's got some new bits and pieces i've also got some parcels to show you mum's given me this cute little purse because i need more smaller purses but yeah let's check my cheap battery charger with me because my battery is low but i'm gonna put my washing away first and then we're gonna just put everything on the bed make it look like i've made any progress but i actually have so i've gained quite a few bits from mum <laughs> i need to tidy this up i've got bag of matt stuff mag bag of matt's dad stuff for father's day late obviously other presents for people got all this to sort out all of this to sort out honestly my sweet selection now is just absolutely insane like seriously got that i already had some home bargain storage boxes for my cupboards so thankfully yeah look <laughs> so we've got two coloured ones and this this is going to get washed so i'm literally just going to fill 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 these um but yeah I am making some progress. Um, something leaked in a bag. Um, so one of our mates' baby's gifts is going to have to be washed before it actually goes to. But yeah, I've literally got so much stuff to sort out. Um, I'm literally just putting it oh God, all on my bed. It's just easier to organise that way. This bag is going to have my lunch stuff in for work tomorrow. That's a rubbish bag. Now my Christmas selection. <laughs> But I've got a salad, which I'm going to have in a bit. They're going in food waste because obviously they're stale, unfortunately. I mean, literally, this is, like, ridiculous. But it's obviously gifts, birthday stuff, and, yeah, they're going to go in the fridge. They're going to go in my crisp section. And we're just going to, we're going to fill them up. So you are very badly balanced, but we're going to open these. Absolutely love them. Airtight. Fantastic. So, we're going to start... Plastics, my favourite sweets ever. Haribo wine gums. Malam Kimball. Another bag of those as well. Some Mentos. Best flavour. Right. Uh, busy fangs so that we got in Gordon. Well, I got in Gordon all. We love them. I might have to pinch that one. <laughs> Oh, God. Mint bubbles. Oh, God. 
backpack and stuff. The rest of my cupboard looks absolutely awful. However, you know, it would be better if it was matching, but I do like all of that and then I need to, still need to organise I still have easter eggs guys and it's nearly July <laughs> take these to um, work with me tomorrow fruit pastels so I've got some bits and pieces I've got my work stuff there I've got some hair clips eyelash serum which is coming with me bits and pieces this is Matt's set of photos because I've got mine already in my room but I'm just taking oh yeah that's a gift for someone that's for me what else is in it? oh yeah quite a few gifts actually which is good. Some of them. My loofah. So that can actually be a gift for Marianne and her baby. Like a bag for her stuff. Did you like out? These bags. Thank you. My These bags are going to go in my wardrobe. Obviously that's that. And this is something that mum's given me. It's so nice. I'm going to get another set from Amazon. I've literally just put loads of new beauty products in. Other bits and pieces. I'm going to actually take some of those to work with me. Tomorrow just in case I get a headache. But yeah, there's literally loads of stuff that I need to put away. This as well. It's currently, I've just been listening to Harry Styles, 25 past 8. So I'm going to have some dinner. Um, I've got all my revolution bits, which you would have already seen. So I need to put them away. Um, yeah, so like more beauty bits and stuff. There, bed currently looking at this. Some of this is going anyway. And I'm going to make my bed before I do go. Rubbish, because that is a dud. I couldn't open it. Sliders will cover me with me. This will be getting tidied up. New bits, I've got a new hairdryer, so I don't have to spend money on it. I'm actually decided to keep these because these work a big gift for someone, but I think they look quite nice. And when I get my new stuff as well. Um, new drawers, which I will be sorting today. This is all the storage you can get for it. So I'm thinking I may get the second one if I can find it any Primarks. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. It's perfect. I'm not sure where it's going to go yet. Maybe I could organise it like... Does that look all right? Let me know your thoughts. Um, I'm sorry for dinner. Vampire Diaries. This is, look at it, all those bags will be going. This will get sorted through. I'll go through my parcels in a minute. Got some rubbish over there. Work bag, all of that will be going. Some of that will be going, I didn't realize. I'm wearing one of Matt's tops. <laughs> um, but yeah, so just taking my dinner plate out. And then I'm going to have a few sweets because, you know, I've all got a nice pot now. It'd be rude not to. Um, and then I'm going to finish off with what I can do with my room today. Then I think I'm going to chill for the last hour, like half an hour or so because Matt's getting me in about an hour and a half. I'm cream crackered. Ugh. This is the current condition of my room. It's quite late. Matt overran her darts. I'm shattered. But for now, my giraffe is there. <laughs> I do quite like how this looks and obviously I'm going to fill these up probably this coming weekend so I'll include it in this vlog. I'm going to take some of these bags because obviously they're needed. I'm going to wear my sliders now but yeah I'm not taking that but I'm going to take my waitress bag because it's just got some bits and pieces in that I am going to need. Umbrella. My goggles, which when I get back to swimming, these can be great. Phone, if you wanted to be like a short on time, I've got. Oh. Yeah, um, little bag which will have snacks and food. And I just need to go and grab some crisps for work. I'm gonna take a packet of what's it and some space raiders. This is literally how much my recycling my mum's got because, as you can tell. We no longer have a fridge here. This is flat update. <laughs> um, we've got a new fridge. It is huge. And some of the magnets I've got mine, so I've got her this one. This one was actually for mum in the end. Cornish cream teas from Cornwall. St Michael's Mount. Did I get you any other ones? Was that it? I think that was it. But yeah, this is our little collection. <laughs> if anyone's wondering, some dogs trust, some from other holidays. All of... The other Cornwall ones that we've got. A bit of Weymouth. <laughs> 